I declare victory for you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You queen of colors. You are the one of immorality. Holy Ghost fire. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Samuel Admekwe. I joined choosing 2003. I'm very sorry to the left for this uh, testimony. My testimony started as as early as 1993. 1993. Three. When I was a, a sick man, as a stroke from Lagos here, they transferred me home. After one year and six months, nobody, I didn't go native daughter, I didn't go English doctor. They just dumped me at my compound. Hmm. One day, one night, as I was sleeping on my parlor, lying down, I I saw somebody open gate. That gate was in form of a, as if to say I'm in the hospital. The people came in, and there we are coming in, two men, two ladies. The men were, one of them was using, was on shoot. The other one was on um, overall, white. But that shoot was white. The other two ladies, they are nurses. They walk in straight to my bed. And they came to my bed. They asked me, how are you? I said, doctor, see me. I don't, I don't have no leg. I told, I called them. I said, doctor, I'm not in order. I have my leg, my hand. I don't get up with him. He said, he said I explained to him. He touched me. That one with a shoot. After touching me, he called. He talked to one of them. They bring uh, uh, the um, this thing. Brought out uh, medicine, strange, and then gave to him. He pressed on my this side. After pressing it. He injected me. After the injection, he said, I'm all right. Hey, my problem is okay. I said, yes, doctor. They left. Around three o'clock, I wake up. Before, if I sleep, if I lie down, if I wake up, somebody will bring me up before I can sit down. Hmm. But that one around the, that three o'clock, when I wake up, I stood. I don't know exactly what happened. You I stood was, up by yourself. I stood up by myself. I didn't wake up, but I just stood up and sat down. Hmm. And I, I wouldn't do it before. After one year and six months. Now, in the morning, fully I, I stood up. Come out from my parlor. Open my door. Came out. I find myself healing. Hey! I don't know how it happened. I left. This was in 1993. 1993. 1993. Please take note. After 10 years, 2003. 2003. Okay. Choosing kebab. Somebody who followed the 
the very day choosing was uh, at uh, um, at Elasha. At Elasha, the very day they opened it, he came out was talking to somebody, and I was listening to what he's saying because I have ten years problem in my house. Ten good years. Within this time, I'm telling you, I can't enter my house. Everybody dumped me. My family, they rejected me. In Lagos, I can't come to Lagos. After 10 years, that very, as the band was telling that boy, I had him. Then, when I inquired, they told me that he's at Elisha. The next day, Thursday, Thursday day, on Thursday I came. As I was came, when I came, they directed me to where men and the women. Immediately I entered that very place, that first auditorium I'm talking about. At Elasa. At Elasa. I know at the Jesha. Oh, at the Jesha now. At the Jesha now. Okay. Immediately I step in. Bam. They show me where to sit. As I wanted to sit, I look up to hear who is talking. I saw a man that injected me 10 years ago. Hey! 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 hey. It shocked me. Hey! I have a shock. I sat down. I don't know. Something was turning my eye, turning my eye, turning my eye, turning on my, on my eye. After some minutes, five to six minutes, my eye opened. I look at him. Exactly. Hey. The man that injected me 10 years ago. I say whether I, I, I didn't. Every minute, my mind is there looking at him. I didn't look any other person throughout that day. Hey. But something happened. Something happened. While he was preaching, he made a mention of uh, microphone close to your mouth, please. Microphone. He made a mention of somebody who have been uh, who is afraid to go somewhere, or somebody they rejected not to come, or somebody who write the application to a company, uh, but they rejected him. A place where you are afraid to go. He, he said after his ministering, go back. Those who want who want to go overseas, go back and take your visa. Hmm. As he was saying that, he mentioned my own, my house. When I built, where I, for past ten years I've not entered there, and I have family. As he mentioned that, in that, in come knock my my my. Um, Heart, bim. Hey, I take a decision. Immediately he finishes uh, preaching. I came out and take a drop to my house. When I got to my house, I came down. I touched my gate. The gate was open. This gate, if I'm two times I went there. It looked like uh, soldiers are guiding it. Hmm. Hmm. When I left the gate, I walk into my room, uh, to my door, open door, enter my parlor. Hey, one of my daughter came down and saw me. They started shouting, shouting, tears of joy, hmm. tears of joy. Look, it's broken. I enter. The very people who never want to see me, they were preparing something for me to eat the same night. Hmm. The problem of 10 years ago, that was the day that uh, problem ended. Nobody, nobody talk. Uh, you did this, you did that. That's the end of everything. Clap on to God on Tuesday. Thank you, Father. So that is uh, my testimony. Hey! I want to thank God. Thank you, Father. I wish my pastor, choosing one while my 
my family heaven at last hmm. in Jesus name amen. amen I want to reconfirm so that I will be sure that even myself that I'm not dreaming yeah he said this encounter happened in 1993 1993 almost 10 years before the Lord choosing was born exactly sir and you were down on stroke Yes, sir. Unable to move your body. Of course, sir. Taken from Lagos and dumped back in your village. Yeah. Where is your village? Where is your town? In Imo State. They can have a data south. In Imo State. Yeah. And there you were. And the four people in the dream revelation, four people entered. Yes, sir. Two men, two ladies. Yes, sir. One of them wearing a white suit. Yeah. Another one wearing a white overall. Yes, sir. And the other ones were nurses. Yeah. And then the one wearing suit came to you. Yes, sir. And asked you, and then you complained about your situation. Of course, sir. He touched you and injected you. Sure. And told you it was over. Yes, sir. And then in the midnight, you that could not get up from bed, people used to help you. You could not, and you found yourself, you got up from the bed and sat properly by yourself. Of course, sir. In the morning, you woke up and started walking everything free. Sure, sir. Ten years after, you were in Lagos. So after that problem, you now came back to Lagos. After that healing. No, after that, I was at home. Okay. I, the very day I come to Lagos, the next day this thing happened. Hmm. I, I was at home throughout the years. And then when you came to Lagos, you had the good news about the Lord about choosing. choosing. You decided to go by yourself. The same day. The same day. Yes, sir. And when you got there, you sighted at the pulpit. Yes, sir. The man that injected you sure. 10 years ago before the choosing was born yes, sir. is the general officer of the Lord choosing sure. ministering from the pulpit. Sure, sir. This very God <laughs> This very God This very God Receive the glory that's very God. God chose it. That's very God. glory. And when you saw him, you were shocked. Sure, sir. Did you say you fell under anointing? I fall on something like they throw me, I fall down. Hey. After six, seven minutes, I woke up. Hmm. And then started looking at him. Hmm. Started looking at him. And then he gave an additional word of knowledge for you. And he made a professional this in the You had built a house for ten years, you couldn't enter. But I did ne never enter for the past ten years. But I, your family was there. They are there, they were there. But after that word of knowledge, I entered. You entered. And, and then all the troubles ended. That's it. Peace came, your family and blessed you. See you today. Brethren, guests and invitees. Yes. What shall we say unto this great God? I don't know. I want to ask you, is this a great testimony? <laughs> Ten years before choosing was born. I want to tell you, there are many other testimonies like that. Long before this ministry was born, God has started using the angel of the pastor to visit people, to set people free, to deliver people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's so great everywhere, all over the places. You can hear that testimony.